smaller and now I get smaller and everybody thinks I'm, I'm looking to go and face Allen Iverson and some of the other guys. And the on and off court behavior and choices of the man who's replaced Michael as the league's most popular player, Allen Iverson. And Jordan will size up the image of today's most popular NBA player, Allen Iverson. The image of the NBA player now, is it closer to the Michael Jordan of the NBA or is it closer the, to the Allen Iverson of the NBA, the way Allen is now? Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's a tough question for me to answer. And a tough question to, you know, to compare the two. I mean, you're talking about a different era. You're talking about a long run of success with, you know, with mature stars. you got younger players coming in a lot earlier than, than I'm pretty sure anybody's anticipated. And, um, and it's not quite as developed as it once was because of that, you know. So I think we have to be very understanding. Uh, and you know, this is the United States. This is America. Everybody has a freedom of expression. And I don't think we should judge uh, Allen uh, for, for the way that he wants to express himself. You know, uh, sure, there's going to be some opinions and questions about, you know, how he does that and who he offends in certain situations or how, you know, people perceive that as offensive. And I think that's those are things that Allen has to deal with as well as they, they've returned in the league. Uh, but to ask them to say that, you know, Allen should act like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Charles Barkley. It's unfair to those individuals at this particular time. We have to be very lenient to those young kids because of, you know, some of the, the lessons in the maturity that they're missing by skipping school early. And, you know, that's an issue that we should address and try to deal with uh, so that for the, everybody is going to prosper from, from that individual learning more about what his skill level is for the NBA to dealing with a lot of the financial situation, economical situations, just the expectations of the public's respect, you know. So a lot of these steps are starting to be skipped because of the nature of the business and, and the financial aspects surrounding it. And it's up to us to look at our, you know, our league and look at our, you know, our situation and see if we can come up with some type of solution. But if Allen plays for the Wizards and he comes out with the same CD that he came out with, uh, the NBA wraps him on the wrist because he's yelling obscenities at fans. Do you? as an owner, sit down and talk to him. Sure, I mean, you try to understand his, his, his uh, reason for that. Uh, but in, a, in all honesty, I mean, I think you, know, you have freedom of expression. You would want him to, to, to take everyone's feeling in consideration before he voices his opinion. But, you know, do we, you know, are we in a position to judge someone for the freedom of expression? You know, uh, only if it, it damages the overall picture of what the league is all about. But if it's still, his freedom to do that. We have to respect that to some degree, as long as it doesn't harm the majority of what's happening in, in the NBA. Almost all cautious about providing even a sliver of motivation. As Michael Jordan. You elaborate. No way you'll get me to sit up here and bad mouth. <laughs> or Allen Iverson alone in space. You say he's 39 years old. He can't come back and do what he's done all through his career. I won't be the one to say that, you know. I mean, he knows what he what he has inside of him. And he has one of the biggest hearts that ever stepped out on the dance floor. In other words, if anyone can do it, he can.